So today is Tuesday. I feel like I should have ironed this hoodie, but oh well. Today is Tuesday. Monday is typically my errand running day, but the baby had a dentist appointment yesterday. So today is the errand running day. So I am going to take y'all with me on a day of the life of law. What is it? What is it y'all be calling it? Y'all gonna go with me today. I have to go by the bank. I have to go buy a new washer and dryer. I have to go get some breakfast. I've got some content I need to put out. I got a whole bunch of stuff to do. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. If y'all wanna go. Y'all wanna go? Y'all wanna see what I be doing on an average day? It ain't really all of that exciting, but let's see what we can get into. Come on. I can't believe I feel for your skin's all sweater than Stop number one. I normally eat breakfast at home. I normally make my own coffee at home. I've already had a cup of coffee. But I decided to keep myself today. So I'm going to stop at Walker House to get some breakfast and do a little bit of work before I get to move it around too much. I hope y'all can hear me okay. Good morning. Can y'all guess what I'll be eating at the Wolf House? It's a classic. Leave in the comments what y'all think I'll order from Wolf House. Let's see if you get it right. But I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I'm gonna do a little bit of work. And then I think when I leave from here, I'm gonna stop by the ATM and make a deposit. And then we're gonna go to Lowe's and do some appliance shopping. I think that's the plan. Oh, and I have to go to the grocery store. And I hate grocery shopping. Why? Because I go to all these for some stuff, Walmart for some stuff, Kroger's for some stuff. So I think I'm gonna simplify the day and just stop at Kroger's because it's just not in me to do all these stops. So I'm eat my breakfast and then uh, we're gonna get back on the road in just a second, okay? belly is good and full now we are going to go to Lowe's baby let me tell y'all something one thing I don't like is being inconvenienced so the fact that my washer has broken not once but twice and my dryer is now acting stupid I don't know baby you ain't gotta worry about it when I'm ready to wash my clothes when I'm ready to dry I don't care if it's 2 a.m. I want to do that Anything that causes an inconvenience in my life has got to go. And I know that sounds silly because I probably could get somebody to come out and fix this washer and fix this dryer um, and save myself some money. But it's highly inconvenient for me to continue to put time and money effort into this set. And I should mention, I bought this set three years ago off of Facebook Market for $300. I don't got my $300 worth. So I need a new washer and dryer. I wash way too many clothes. And then I was really thinking about it. I think I'm going to do a whole laundry room, laundry closet redo. Maybe I'm gonna be, you know, become one of those aesthetically pleasing house cleaner vlog. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be one of those. I got to measure it out of the glass canister. My detergent will stay in the plastic 
tide or gain bottle i'm not doing all of that transferring from a glass from a plastic container to a glass container uh, maybe i just don't understand it maybe maybe i'm not part of the aesthetic and i'm okay with it but we are going to go to lowe's and i hope they have a good deal i did some research online and let's see what they got in person and i really need y'all to deliver set up and haul my old set away again make this as convenient as possible for me take that back i do know what i'm looking for i want the capability of it turning into a stack washer and dryer set i do want front load i want steam option so let me do some comparison because maybe i just ain't bought no washer and dryer in a while uh, straight from the store anyway these prices are crazy hold on let me tell you something that really grinds my gears. Don't assume just because I look young, I ain't got no money. So the sales associate done walked past me a few times and went and helped somebody else. So if I gotta go find somebody to help me get the set I want, yeah, yeah. Anybody else relate? Although I cannot have a tower like this right now, the space that this washer and dryer is going into will eventually only be large enough for a stack. But this is a tower. Now this set is cute. This is a whirlpool set. I really don't want white, but to be honest, for that price, I'd make it work. But let me show y'all something. Y'all see how these hinges are made in the washer door? This has broken not once but twice on the washer that I have now. So I know going forward to look for a different type of hinge. This is fine because it's all one piece. Y'all can't see, but I can. But on my washer, it's like two or three different pieces here. So I just left Lowe's. I did all the research before I went to Lowe's. I knew the set, the two sets that I was interested in. I had already compared. I had already looked at all the specs, capacity, blah, 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 all the unexciting things. But I'm the type of person, I don't care what the specs say. I still need to see it. I need to see it in person. The price could look great. The reviews could look great. The specs could meet my needs i still need to see it and touch it and i need to just look at the quality okay so luckily they had the set that i wanted available for delivery but they didn't have the pedestals which i'm okay with because it is my plan to stack this y'all know they fancy now those front loads uh can now be converted into a stack washer and dryer um so that's what i'm gonna do i hope to be able to convert my attic into a bonus space that's the goal in the next year to two i hope i hope and if i can do that then i'm going to put this washer and dryer set underneath the stairs i hope i'll be having all of these great plans baby i'll be having all of these great ideas but uh when it comes to making them um, come to fruition you know execution is key so now that i am done with the washer and dryer uh purchase i am going to kroger's to grab a couple of groceries and then i have to get some gas i'm tempted to not get gas 
and wait till in the morning. But am I the only one that every time I say I'm going to get gas in the morning, I forget that I need gas. And then I be running late, leaving the house. And then that makes me run even later because I got to stop and get gas. So my good mind is telling me to go ahead and stop and get some gas. So we're going to get gas. Uh, and then I have a one o'clock webinar that I have to join. So I should be back home by then. Only other thing I have to do is do a Amazon return and drop off a ATM deposit, which is all on the way. So I feel very productive. For me to be this far in my to-do list, on a Tuesday, yeah, your girl is. I'm knocking the checklist out, baby. I'm knocking it out. Um, so let's let's run into Kroger's and get some of these good groceries. Maybe it's because I'm a full grown adult now, but this baby spring mix with this baby arugula salad mix, baby, to die for. This is my guilty pleasure. I will eat everything on this rack right now every single thing but i believe today we're gonna grab not the crunchy i don't want the crunchy i don't want the crunchy oh no they only have crunchy i don't want the crunchy i believe they have a regular <laughs> cookie butter and i am going to try to make a coffee drink with this I think it's gonna be so good. See, I told y'all they'd be doubling the prices for Valentine's Day. Don't fall for it. So, finally made it home. Just got my last little bit of groceries in the house. So, I'm about to start dinner before. Okay, son. Okay, brown eyes. Okay. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna start dinner before we go to karate. I hate coming home at 6, 6.30 and then still have to cook. One of the things that I am really grateful for is an opportunity to have days like Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday off when I know so many do not and be able to prep for the week. So dinner will be cooked for today and tomorrow. So when I get into the thick of things at the salon, I won't have to really worry about cooking too much because we'll have leftovers. And when we come back from karate, I won't have to worry about cooking. I'll be able to actually chill with my family. So today has been a good day. I got 75, 80% of my to-do list done. I, what else did I do today? I got my baby's Valentine's Day stuff together so he can take it to his class. I paid my bills, my bills are paid. I went to Lowe's, got my washer and dryer. I'm excited for that to be delivered tomorrow. Grocery shop, cooked, got my women's month info done. Matter of fact, so for the month of March, instead of me doing Money Mondays, I will be doing a women's business highlight for two to three guests every Monday for the month of March. I'm really excited about that. So y'all look out for that. That'll be streamed on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, but I really want y'all to watch it on YouTube, okay? Help me get these views and these watch hours up, right? Right. But that's it, y'all. I'm gonna go and get ready to go into mommy's mode, get ready to get into honey mode. And that's it. I hope y'all have a good day. This is, I guess, in the day of a in the life of a day in the day of life a day in the life of i don't know what them people be saying see what i do on a normal tuesday that's what y'all just watched <laughs> see y'all later hi guys bye guys love y'all